Hey guys, today I'm going to cook a pork sirloin tip roast. So let's get toasting. So the other day I made a little road trip and went to the grocery outlet bargain market, one of my old uh, shopping places. And I saw this little sirloin tip roast there. This little thing is, uh, it's like two pounds, 2.16 pounds. So it was four bucks for this little roast. And I thought, you know, that is just the right size roast for me and I could cook it in my toaster oven so let's get this thing out of here and take a look at it. See that? Perfect little one-man roast. I think I'll just season the outside of this with a little bit of kosher salt and some Johnny seasoned pepper. Now I'm gonna put this oven meat thermometer right into the center of it. It says to cook this at 325 degrees Fahrenheit until the internal temperature reaches 160 degrees Fahrenheit. But I'm going to pull it out at 145 degrees. It's been an hour and 25 minutes and it looks like the internal temperature is 145. I can see it right through the glass. So I'm getting this out of there. That was an easy way to cook this little roast. Let's cut into it and see how it looks inside. I'll just cut it right down the center here. See what the middle looks like. Oh yeah, it looks nice and juicy, huh? Looks pretty good. Guess I'll slice off a piece and we'll give it a taste test here. Looks nice and juicy. really lean. Kind of tastes a lot like turkey breast. That'll make some good sandwiches for a few days. Annie the taste test dog isn't showing up. She's not a morning dog. It's too early for her, I guess. <laughs> anyway, if you guys are interested in any merch, you've seen the coffee mugs sitting there and t-shirts and uh, I have this I've been using this travel mug a lot. This is really nice. It holds 14 ounces and it's hot or cold. There's a coffee place right in front of the house here. So I take it down there and fill it up and then knock 50 cents off if you bring your own cup, which is nice. But the thing I like is this is really well insulated. So it doesn't burn your hand like those stupid paper cups and you have to put a sleeve on them and they still burn your hand. So these are really nice. So I'll put the link to my Spreadshirt shop in the description if anybody wants to take a look. Thanks for watching you guys and I'll talk to you next time. She must have heard me talking because look who showed up. Guess I have to give her a taste now. <laughs> okay, see you guys.